And we are streaming. Tars of Confusion, 26th of November, 2021. How are we all doing? Um, we have three people currently queued, so I'm just going to top in and we're going to get the game started off. So this is Lily, Prospero, Rise, and myself. Good luck to you all. The start button is hidden because I've got windows minimized. Or windows adjusted. Hi, hi. There we go. Right, let's get this going then. First game in a considerable while, so I am expecting to be a little rusty, and we'll just see. I'm just going to try and play cautiously, see how things go, and every time I intend to play cautiously, I end up overplaying, going to huge hands, taking unnecessary risks. Occasionally good unnecessary risks, but you know, unnecessary risks nonetheless. Hello, Rise. Hey, Remy. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Legius as well. He just joined in the queue. You're currently player five. I'll let you know when the second game can start up. Spending a while on this, and here we go. Okay, strong start. Two Dora in the south seat. Yep, yeah, okay, I'm reasonably happy with this start. Hopefully, we get something to next to the four pin. Middle tile would be useful. Somebody can call south on the first turn. We're up to free Dora here, so this is a hand we probably want to be pushing with. Although, given Dora 1, Rise is disconnected. This is true. Hold on. This is me not paying attention here. Well, he's lost some time, but hopefully he'll be able to recover that. I mean, if we have to restart, we have to restart. But this is a lovely hand that I have to re have to have to give up to do it. Sitting at thirty nine percent. Oh dear! It was taking a while, but had on for like five minutes and didn't notice. Indeed, we might have to give up this. I mean, as East as, as East One starting hands go, this is pretty good. But if we do have to restart, we have to restart. It's fair. Two moves played. And I've got a feeling Rise probably has a pair of Souths. Well, we'll give him some time. We have um I mean, Prospero hasn't even made this card yet. Prospero could have a ten ho start here. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I hope Prospero wasn't on for a um not ten ho, uh Chi Ho. Hope you weren't on for that, because I think we might have to stop and restart the match here. I'll give it a, I'll give it a minute, but if um, not, then we'll end this one and redo. I'm not sure. I don't think Rise is on mobile, but I might be wrong. Was it somebody who knew how to play Mahjong correctly? Or somebody who you wanted to just bamboozle with um, 
Well, I want to say mathematics, but it's not really that. It's more uh, sort of sequencing. Or constant ten hoes. <laughs> Yeah, it they happen. It's not It's not super likely, but it's massively, massively more common. Uh we are going to throw this match, I think. Um so I'm just gonna close it. And the game has been closed. Alright. I gave up a free door hand, just just be aware. <laughs> All right, so uh, it looks like we're trading trading Rise for Legius at the moment. So let's give this a go. Well, I've only made one discard thus far in my grand return, and I didn't overplay into anything. So, yay, achieving my targets. Well, this is considerably worse. Uh, no, Ben. All right, so starting dealer with a definitely more bitty hand. Ah, good initial draw. Question will be whether we decide to play our toss for north. Do we want to give Legius a manga? Because we already have a pair. It's reasonable. Probably going to do it on the next discard. because otherwise it is just going to stall the hand a little bit. Yeah, everything else is developing much nicer, so we'll we'll get rid of North now. So, ideally 4 so free man. Tarnpin, Tarnpin, and Legius possibly purging suits from the early discards, but we'll see. First East. Okay, so Dora are all gone, so not a problem there. Uh, some information given away, but it's not the worst. Don't want to do that in case of the four discards. So I guess we just cut the one two here. Or the one three. We already see two pin, so that's less likely. We'll keep this up. We might end up just cutting the one there. Maybe one was correct to get rid of, but with the shape here, I think we're more likely to draw useful stuff into that anyway. So again, kind of the same here, close weight, close weight, but we can always get rid of the one three, I suppose. The other thing I guess is if we draw if we draw three man, that'd be ideal. Cut the one, go into the uh, three five seven on the end. We'll see. Because with two taunting hands going across, I don't particularly want to 5-7 discard this one. Uh, okay. So, open Tanyo, open Tanyo Sanchiku at a high end. But the reach has happened. 
So we are okay with holding off here. Directly safe tiles. None right now, but... Oh, it could be a Sozu Honitsu, actually. This might this might be tricky here. We're gonna go CG. It mostly follows turn pin, but it was a very immediate two pin eight pin, which I suppose could be for initial discards, but But yeah, I'm far more. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of Sozu in the hand. I feel Sozu have been relatively expensive through the game thus far, anyway. And the only information we got really is around the low end. We can hurry to play seven. Pin. This is our dealer turn, so it's a little unfortunate we have to fold, but. Yeah, we're out of time. We're just going to have to go for risk the one, so we might even just fold out here. We need the seven to randomly be safe to carry on with this, and I'll tell you what, Prospero is doing us a favor with that. Red's light. Well, two reds out. Is it a fair weight for that? Could be. We've been given a lot of help here. But technically, Ishanten with a safe final discard. Yeah, a lot of help around here, but still. Note. Okay, it's so close, wait. Alright, so deal around, lost the draw. That is acceptable. So, Dora start in the second. Hand's not amazing, but not terrible either, really. West. So one East already played by Ledius. Okay, second West then. Yeah, I should probably play one of the dragons for efficiency there. So white's the only one we're unsure on, so we might we might just play white here. Yeah. Okay, quick attack, and that is Sumo Hatsu only. So Ledius won the draw, picked up a quick win. Prospero's dealer turn. Okay. This isn't bad. Um, toss East first. Well, especially as we're following one anyway. Okay, pair of twos. That gives us options here. Currently, we have a spare one pin with what we're doing. Although, if we do get the second two pin, that gives us the Paco side in that one. Middle five. Uh, we're probably going to have the one as our pair here. Everything else is connected. So, if we draw a free so it's a little unfortunate, but three, five, seven is still an okay shape for us to be just holding. I'd mentioned we have a spare one. That's probably our next loose discard if it comes to it, or possibly a nine, seven. But 
though not now. Now we got this 579 shape. So moves to the middle tiles that are the problematic ones. Prosper over the early dragon core. Pretty much town bin discards from everybody up to this point. Problem is, it looks as if we're going to have to cut the Dora to do things at the moment. In fact, we cut the Dora for Tenpai if we get an 8-pin here. We just get Pinfu. Pinfu Nomi, I think. Would prefer that way round, because we will have to reach with this, but... I think the fives wouldn't be too bad. I could just spend a couple of turns rotating the two so out. Alright, dealer with two calls. Toy Toy potentially. White Dragon with some Dora. Bonya. Oh, it is Toy Toy. Seems unlikely it's going to be Honitsu based on this, but. Uh, Toy Story is easy enough to defend against, you just play what's on the board. Thankfully, an 8 so is. 9 pin isn't, 7 pin is. Medora isn't. Dora free Toy Toy, Hatsu would be Hanuman. And 2's not been played. How much do I really fear this? Not enough, I think, is the answer to this, but we're each answer for a completed hand, so. Alright, Kandora. No help, but of course, if we now draw an 8 pin ourselves, we got Reach, Pinfu, and Mini Dora. Oh, red's fine. Second 8 pin. That's annoying. Have you got a set of them? North is live. Should not be taking risks with that, really, but hey. Right, we see 9-pin. We can play 9-pin. Could be chance. Chance is the other thing it could, it could be going for, but... But 9-pin passing is useful. Because that gives us 9-pin and 7-pin as safe discards against this. Irrespective of anything else. So if we were to draw that draw a pair, we got the alternate route in safely. Sanzo. Yep, I think we're going 9-pin, 7-pin here. So three ones. Not a lot of other information about the Sozi side of things, but we can play the eight as well. That's extremely nice. Although it is Sanpin for um it is Sanpin for Tempai now. Sanso, not something. Yeah. So reach Pinfu Dora if we were to get this now. And we see a couple of them. Well. Let's see. Two is gonna be safer than three, you'd think. Given all the ones are gone as well. So some bonus information, we have the safe discard if we have to make another one, but we are going Ishan turn. Well, it's going go turn. No. Uh, three, six. Oh, that's, a, that's a bit of a weak one there. I mean, it's a good bluff, but... Sure, Prospero would have improved it if he could, but hey, that's... Okay. Deal a repeat. 
We have a buff. Okay, so possible Sanch Q, possible Chanter. Well, I say possible, but we'd probably not take it if the Chanter opportunity came here. Sanch Q, though, would be very nice. Failing that, we'll just go reach Pin Fudora. And a pair of sevens with a six being Fudora is quite nice as well. Well, I said I wasn't going to take it, but maybe. Pair of eights. Yeah, I don't think we are taking it. So I'm considering this a pair of eight, six, seven, five, six, seven, and we're just going to try and hopefully build up that Pinfu. We do have a pair of sevens already, which is our most likely pair at this point. We'll keep the Sanjicu chances open, I think is fair to say, but Pinfu, definitely the plan. Boom. All right, Lily calls sevens. Play the riskiest one first. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, with Tidoro, we don't need to care about Sanchiku anymore. But we're now Ishanten for Reach Dora 2. Fated Sanzo. Not just calling that. It just calls off for the moment because we're not concerned about calling at this stage. Should have probably been off a little sooner in truth, but. So we can pair up the eight. We can triple up the eights of the sevens. We can get the three six. We can get the six nine for Tempai here. Okay. Reach door two. Beach. Sevens are gone as well, but that might emphasize the sixes, so we'll just see if we can draw it. Seven of them left, so let's see. Lily's got something if she's risking a five man at this point. It is CG to the two, but you'd feel she wouldn't no. do that if she wasn't pushing something. I wait, we get the hit. That was our. All right, reaching to 52. Still a 30k tip tap, tip tap game, really. And our reward is this. Um. All right, let's dragon start. I like to usually wait around for dragons, but I've got nothing that's worth immediately tossing. Could toss seven, eight, I suppose, but. Okay, Paris South in the South round. We have Yakuai, essentially. One left. That being said, this isn't a great hand to just push South only with. Play seven bit now. I wonder if we go Honitsu with this. I know I've kind of already cut two dragons, which hurts the, the attack, but. Eh, uh, okay, forget that plan. We're not going that. We're not going with that plan anymore. I should also probably cut west, because it's not a guaranteed safe tile. And as proven. It's 
So two pin eight man are current least tiles here. We'll go one so. Wonder if Lily's just pushing a Honitsu with those discards. It's not impossible. So let's do that now. So those seem quite cheap. Four, five, six Sanjuku is a thing. To backdoor into. One man. I mean, the hand's not bad. We are already shanting. Sanchku. Sanchku, nothing? Well, Sanchku, door one if we were to get the four, actually. Not too strict and proven safe, so that's fine. Carry on. But if you do draw the four so, then this is um Yeah, Sanchku not a lot, but Yeah, I guess we just play ourselves out. Kinda have to go around anyway, so and we're still kind of on a long shot. It's a tight game, so we don't want to deal in unnecessarily to something Gee. of an unknown value where we can avoid it. That being said, we now have the Sanchku. That Legia steals in. Cheeto Adora. <laughs> Alright, so that's the biggest hand of the game thus far, but it's still a 30k game. It's just now me leading over Prospero. As we go into South 1. This is not a great hand. Um, too bad. Alright, let's pull up East. We know that's useless. We weren't cockatching this hand. So the other turn, and really the only thing I can push for with this is Chanter, I guess. But uh, no, nah, let's just let's just cull the honor tile, see where we are. Which is a far better than trying to force a bad hand. That we we're actually quite a long way from anyway, but. Good news is everything looks tan pin. Really with a random seven out of nowhere, I guess, but still. Mostly tan pin. Second seven. If we can fill up these closed weights quite fast, then maybe we got something. Yeah, we're we're not we're not gonna not gonna keep the random eight just in the off chance we can sand you. We'll um, we'll go with what we got. Because even here, it's probably still best to get rid of a nine. Uh, that's reasonable. How sad am I going to be if I do if I cut that? It's quite sad. We'll go that way around. I'd say if I if I cut the five and then draw a four, wouldn't be the end of the world, I suppose. But I'm happy just cutting the one middle tile for the moment. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's what it is. Triplet of a seven pin. That is annoying for a number of reasons. So maybe we're cutting our six here. Yeah, 
Okay, we're not cutting a six. So technically he shan't him. Three so, seven so. Seven so, of course, is Vidora. Reaching on Vidora, always a pro move. Alright, let's cut the five now, because the five is going to be a problem later. I mean, it might be a problem now, but it's going to be more of a problem later. No. I'm not going to turn calls off just yet, because... Actually, I have no justification for why we're not turning calls off. I'm just not doing it. Oh. Alright, turn skipped. So Lily with the dragon attack to steal the dealership. Kanya. Uh, somebody decides we need more value on this table. Well, if I draw a Sansa, well, I draw a seven now, at least gives me something. I actually prefer to draw a three because there's more sevens out there. But you wouldn't play a seven against this board, surely. also massively safe if this goes wrong. Si. Alright, everyone on the attack. Reach. Dealer reach. With Kandora. So this is a this is effectively a bluff because I don't think seven so should be played by anybody. None I respect these players too much to play a seven here. But if we can draw it, it's awesome. And hopefully it's gonna force a fold. Kandora on the board. How much can you afford? That being said, one of these people will have a triplet of sevens and that just, you know, means they weren't folding anything and I wouldn't either. 30k game. First Mungan probably wins it if you can play well. We can also calm the nine still, actually. I think nine pin's still... Yeah, nine pin's still a thing. We could calm. Lily's... Hey. Oh, that's sneaky. And yeah, you do have a triplet of a sevens, absolutely. Triplet of a sevens means you do not fold. You just panic, pretty much. Uh, so I imagine you were in a 5-2 weight before that, but... Oh well. Big hands happen, and it wasn't my turn this time. So, uh, down in third place because I lost a reach stick. South two. Uh, let's east up. It's not a bad opening hand. But we'll see. Have a pair, have a sequence. Have a couple of things that will turn into sequences quite easily. Have a Dora, which is always a nice thing. North is kind of dead, but we'll keep it as a safe tile. Have a possible Litsu as well as a random thing. Four so, seven so, what we want right now. Probably have to play south in the next discard. Yeah. So, possible suit culling from Lily, but. Also, this is double Dora. So this is uh, potentially pin for you two Dora. Which would be nice. Okay, we can cut the north in that position. Because drawing a seven at least gives us options. If we were to randomly draw another seven pin, this gives us um, other routes to pin to. But still want that four or that seven, really. Somebody 
you can pair up the sevens. <sighs> okay, that's fine. This still works if we draw a seven here, but this is going to be a better sequence all round. And actually, we now have a possible Sanj Q. Although, admittingly, this breaks up our pair, so we're not sure how much we'd really go for it if it came up, but... But, you know, keep options open, occasionally they'll crop up. Okay, so we did end up drawing that 7 in the end. Um, hmm. I think it's actually best for us to discard these, but I'm kind of feeling weird and greedy at this point. So we're going to we're going to play weird. We're going to play we're going to play weird and greedy and see if this actually works. It won't, because we need to pair up the 5 or the 3 before we can do anything else and we'd have to discard the other one, which means we're going to deal in with whichever one we don't do. Couldn't discard 5 to make this work. Tudora is the same as Sanjiku. Probably just Toss this and go. Didn't get that anyway. Cut the eight seven. I cut the eight six. What are you doing? My tile efficiency gods are angry at me. Beach. Tanoshimi. Can we play a 6-pin against that? No. Can we play a 3 against that? No. Can we play an 8? Not really. Oh, I've got nothing against this hand. This is kind of ridiculous. We're playing a 6. Cheat. Draw this, drop this, add this Yaku. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Beach. Out of reach. Gun. Yep. Figured. Mangan. Remember when I said I was going to play sensibly and do a casual. Oh well. Happened again. Overplayed. Could have played the 8 as well and gone on the free site only, which might have been the better route, but I had two Dora. Reach 2, Pinfu, Mangan, ourselves. Had to be attempted. Alright, two hands to make up uh, 20k. Yeah, I overplayed that a little. I could have played safer, played the 8 uh, over that as well. And mind you, the 8 wasn't guaranteed safe. We just decided to overplay. Good news is I've got Tan... Well, Tanyo. And Carnage. And 20k to make up in two hands. We're still third. I could have pushed with the 8 and been on the, the Sanzo only. But I wanted Pinfu to make it a definite manga. <sighs> okay, well, this is interesting. Um, I'm actually going to cut the two here. There is an outside chance this becomes Sanchiku as well, but... True. But it would have been a safer discard. <laughs> uh, all right cut that for the moment might end up cutting this one pin pair well we might be doing that anyway naturally we've got too many pairs as it happens would love to can can't can okay now we'll cut one so hope for six pin, and then we got reach pin foo. Nothing. Okay, I prefer this way around.
east does nothing for us, unfortunately. Okay, let's um, let's see if this works. Because if we can get reach Pinfu Sanchu, this suddenly this suddenly becomes a thing. Oh. The answer is we'll end up waiting on the we we'll end up winning on the wrong. Actually, we can't do that. That can't, that can't happen. Six six is going to be the pair regardless of what happens at this point. I think so. Uh, six man, six pin. And this, I mean. Mungan, come back hand. Not impossible. Unlikely, and we probably would have to try if we got the free of either, but... Unfortunate, but it's only a pin through. All right, one hand to make up more than 20k. So, short of the right hits, not much I can do in that position. Uh, well, 20k. Let's cut east. East does nothing for us. Nah, I mean, that's totally fair. They've got enough of a lead that they can manage that, so... It is what it is. Our job, though, is to work out how to do anything with this. Easiest thing for us to do is just Tanyo attack. But Tanyo free is only Mungan, which I suppose puts us up a position. Nine foot well. Okay, nearly puts us up a position. Probably be cutting these extra pairs anyway, but we haven't drawn anything more useful at this stage. Yeah. Okay. How nuts would that be this late in the game? Quite nuts. Quite nuts indeed. Quite nuts indeed, but it's our only chance of actually getting a chance at Byman, so... <laughs> Which I think Ryze has just calculated for me, thank you. I mean, honestly though, I don't think I can take it. Yeah, I think we just go with this. It's a bad 3-6 pair weight, but I think that's what we're, we're looking towards at this point. If you're a 3 is 6, so we can um, adjust this slightly. Alright, fine. We're just going to go reach pin through 2.
I mean, Reach, Pinfu, Ipatsu, Sumo, Ura, two Ura as well. We could, we could have Ura 4. That could get us our Biomon Sumo. I mean, we direct hit Legius for, for Hanuman. We actually uh, put this into a next round. Alright, door of five. Frostman has done nothing but cull Sozu, so that horse was probably Legiasis. Alright, five more draws. Four more, assuming we'd see him over the last one. It's fine, I don't need charity. I really don't need charity. Beach. Restore a free. Beach. Counter reach. Live white. Boom. Boom. No, that hand's become a thing. Kandora reveals an extra one. Last discard. Tenpai. All right, two by Tenpai, five, eight, five, eight, and we remain in third. Hey, was that was that a card for the last safe tile? Was that or? Yeah, pivoting seven pairs was not really a thing I was considering too much, but you know, it happens. All right, let's go for another one then. Which looks like it's going to be the exact same people for another match, so let's start this off. Random back seat and away. That looks pretty good. No, I've, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, nice though. Nine turn or reset? Nope, not quite. <laughs> Yeah, uh, immediately draws into that. Alright, we'll we'll play East. You do that, sir. You take the easy life. Okay. All right. 
early sequence from Prospero. Could be on it to attempt. He did play an early five man. We don't have any Sozu anyway, so we'll see. There are two, you say. Boom. I mean, I don't see Mono here either, but you know. <laughs> also, hello, sir. Two reds. I mean, his hand's good, but it's slow. Mind you, kind of want that in your dealer turns anyway. Uh, play red. Won't risk the Sansa just yet. Although I think it's probably safer than it might be. You know, a couple of twos gone, three twos are gone. Not safe, but if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it now. If we'd gone for the other way around, we'd have been Cheetoy Ishanten. This is what happens when you have a very narrow set of tiles you're actually interested in. The seventh thing's going to be the killer, though. Uh, Openitsu from Prospero? Could be a Hanitsu attempt still, but you started playing a lot more those. Could be even be a chanter that he's decided to go aggressively for. Mahjong, it's a silly game. Yep, it's a silly game. White's well, fine. Do I care enough? Yeah, we're going to push to five. Alright. Uh, no worries, sir. I mean, I've drawn one Manzi tile this whole game, I think. Which has not been a massive help, but we'll see. Beach. Eh, Honitsu also seemed unlikely, but you know. Open it to was the only other thing that could draw from that. Either way, again, there was a bigger threat on the table. Uh, okay. This is acceptable. Fortunately, with the Dora, well, I mean, I could always push the Manzu out and try for Honitsu here, but with just the terminal end of it, it's a little awkward. We'll keep our options open towards the Honitsu, though. Ah, uh, which do we... I mean, it's a close weight either way, although the 6-8 is better than the 9-8, really. Alright. Let's just go this way round. If we end up half halving this, then it only goes that far anyway. So, play that, cut that. We then still have a two-sided sequence and a pair. We can always get rid of these two rather than these two. Double Dragon Dora is acceptable. Well, 
double dragon toy toy now. That's a potential answer. I mean, we get all the Marvel's greedy and go for the the Hanuman, but probably not going to get the chance to do that, given that we need two calls, one of which is unlikely and the other is also unlikely. And we could always draw them, I guess, but you know. Second Dragon you always consider slightly more unlikely, and the middle tiles you don't expect to get a discard of. Boom. So unlikely, not definite. Uh, east or eight? We're going to go east. Eight's already been played, so that's kind of our last tile here. Again, though, if we draw another... If we draw something, maybe. Heh, <laughs> unfortunate. Alright, counter reach. We got a safe discard. And Red Dragon's annoying. Red Dragon's really annoying here. But crossbow seamers anyway, so. Had Fedora 3 was not folding that, gets to Hanuman. Alright, second place by 100. And we have drawn Adora. I mean, it wasn't on at all, so you know. <laughs> also, it was only two dragons, sir. Uh, it was four. You can't call it a Sangan attempt, really, unless you got six. And that's six, including other people's calls. Once I called the second one, it was technically a chance, but it was far too late in the game to worry about that. Now, that was, um,. That was just double dragon things. Boom. I didn't have seven at any point, did I? I basically had the two calls, which was basically only four. I was more taught, you know, it was always a Honitsu. It wasn't a Daisangan. It was Honitsu, possibly Toy Toy at various points, but you know. That was full greed if I got both. Uh, I mean, actually, it's not that helpful, but equally, we'll stick with the current plan of giving no info away. You had six at the moment, you chose to complain. Yeah, but that chin was a live chin and basically dead. I wasn't wasn't interested in that. Somebody else had red at that point. I might have got it. At, I might have got a red at some point, but even there, if I had, I'm fairly certain it was definitely dead at that stage. It wasn't worth considering, certainly. What I got a nearly completed hand, and I'm going to risk it all for a random red. <laughs> They could all in the wall. Maybe they were. Who knows? But I wasn't going to risk... I was going to take that chance. I was going to go with the nearly complete hand. With two. T. There's... Marjong is entirely what ifs. I don't care about your what ifs. Your what ifs are silly to me. Uh, we're going to play nine, man. And... 
and pivot this into Honit. So I guess I'll pivot this into Tanya then. Uh, fourth white. Sumo, okay. Hatsu only to move the game on, and I am now back into third. As I said, Marshak is entirely about what ifs. Mahjong, at least in, if you want to go to that level, is what is. What Mahjong is really, though, is about what's likely. <laughs> you use the what ifs and you work out the odds of them, and then you play from that. The only considerations on that are what you need. Sometimes if you need more, then the what ifs are a bit more valid, but you know, in general parlance, what's likely is outweighs what ifs. <laughs> There is that. I'm not denying that. But I'll make my own poor decisions. I don't need you to help me with that. Given that you are currently the entirety of the chat. <laughs> uh, hmm. So we have the Cheetoy consideration here. Well, we're going to count white anyway, but... I've only got one good Cheetoy tower remaining, actually. I mean, there's technically one of each of those, but still, feels unlikely. Especially early game when they're likely to get rid of their ones later in due course anyway, so... Which seemed likely. I mean, I was surprised the green came out later, in all honesty. I assumed that I was uh, in a pair each situation, to be truthful. Alright, we kind of are leaning into the seven pairs plan here, if only because I don't really have a lot else going for me with ten draws to go. played. Two, two, three, three, eight, done. But I've already got that one. Ah, one's getting nicely isolated though. <laughs> Cheeto was definitely what I was supposed to do, but you know. The game is being mean today. Okay, thank you very much, game. I take it all back. Let's play a seven pin. So, Ishantin. Ideally waiting on the one pin. A6 has been played, but it's still, still enough of them for the moment. <laughs> How many times could I have won this hand by now? <laughs> I mean, if this is not 10 by indications, then, you know. It's 
Sounds a. So both one and one are isolated, but none of them appearing suggests they're in people's hands in pairs and triplets. Ah, it's only if people noticed. <laughs> only if people noticed. Oh well, didn't manage it. Like all the pairs in the world, no didn't manage it. Four player, no turn. Or basically, we were all cowards. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, it's better than a lot of my dealer hands have been lately, so let's go, I guess. Uh, Too slow. So one three four, one three four. Oh, yes, we're sand going. We're sand going that way. point just take the win at this stage come on let's have something we can pair up something nice to pair up please eh, that's not gonna qualify Boom. wouldn't mind being in a six nine weight if it came to it that'd be fine Yeah, that's no improvement, weirdly. Because obviously this is Vidora possibility, so we'll cut the 5 6 here. If we're going to cut anything. And obviously don't want to cut the 7 9 while we started the possibility of it. Dealer Pinty Sanchku would be extremely good right now. We're gonna have the time. Uh, um. South is fine. Does Lily have the What's the worst you can have at this point? Might just be a dragon attack, in truth. Well, that's our pair. So now it is just the case of can we get this Sanchku finished? One of eight, well, two eights gone. It's not, it's not massively likely. This might, might be the way around we, we should do it with three now done. Two sevens out, two eights out. Yeah, I think we just go pin, we try and pin through this or possibly it's through this. Three eights gone. So we would be forced to call if we had another one right now. Double Dora. 
Yeah, I think we cull this and we start looking at other options. I think it's four cores as well. Yeah, too quick, and we'd have had to deal into that, I think. Yeah, having to pivot at the wrong point, I think, unfortunately, but another deal turned down. 15 free to make up in free hands. Start. <laughs> do do do. Oh, that's quite nice of us. So that's now incorporated that quite nicely. Possible sand cube is still a thing, although most likely we're just going to pair of sevens and do something with this. Or being a six nine weight. Six nine weight would be the ideal way for us to handle it. Or just draw another nine, actually. Yeah, okay. Huh. Is it too greedy to force it? Well, let's see. But there's a lot of value if this pays off. Reach Sanch Gudora is Mungan. Oh, Reach Sanch Gudora. In which case, we don't need the. Here's the thing now, we don't need Sanchku, we can do it with Pinfu. But I guess it doesn't matter at this point because we wouldn't get to Pinfu before we got finished anyway, so we'll just leave it. But I guess if we don't have to reach and have Munga, we'd have um We'd have Sanchku Double Dora. Adama Mongan is not anything to be sniffed at at this point in the game. But we do have to get that last couple of tiles. One of them. Come on, 8 mm. Nope. Not yet, anyway. 8 pin, 7 so. Wrong person. In the interesting pile. But I don't think that actually changes anything. It's only the eight pins that Prospero is continually getting rid of. I guess the upgrade is if we draw an 8 here, but then that means we lose Sanchku and just have the Ipeko instead. So that's technically on an upgrade. Fated Sanzo. No. Well, that might help. It didn't help that much. 
but okay, it reduces the gap at least. So technically we made some ground. Hanuman Sumo does it. Still. This is not a hand that's going to easily hit Hanuman. Should be pretty quick to get to something though. Yeah, we don't need the nine here. Probably don't need the one either, actually, but. I don't think Tanya is a thing we're getting, but either way, five man should be more useful. Doing with that, and we're just gonna throw the nine pin again. Uh, that's a little more useful than this, I guess. So, all right, leading into the pin two then. So, Ishan 10. I mean, there's no value behind it, but reach Pinfu. See what happens. Getting an extra thousand if we can make the five man pass, which we almost certainly won't be able to. Wait for more useful tiles. Mangan Sumo, we have a new leader, I think. Yeah, dealer, of course. Yeah, definitely new leader. Well, that makes my job a little more difficult. So, uh, Byman needed to do it in one. Actually, Byman Sumo wouldn't do it in one, actually. But... That's the kind of the level we're at anyway, so we're not going to worry too much. Just see if it comes up. Hello, sir. Can't do anything with that. Uh, it wasn't likely to happen. Especially as Legi has played East. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, this is developing nicely towards nothing. Technically Ishanten, though not a very good Ishanten.
Why isn't there a tile wall on this table? Um, because technically all the tiles are in the middle. But yeah, it's a nice little feature. They actually um, they actually aren't there. Instead we have lightning. Of course we have lightning. Lightning is all important. And you know, if I can actually pull off some winds, you might see some lightning. Oh, for God's sake. The game has decided no today. Fives, you say. Uh, yeah, that's the key fedora. Now uh, we can counter reach for no value. I mean, I've missed Santa Cruz all night long, so if we get a two-so here, we're still we're going to go for it. If we get a four, I probably I probably reach on the five and go for it anyway. Oh, there's the pro ten, so that's one down. So reach pin food aura. Yeah, it's not an especially good hand. Or at least not for the situation I'm in. Well, always the chance of high say. Tempai. Exhaustive draw. Alright, the best winning hand, though, half of it was going to get head bumped. And we fall down to fourth because he used a reach stick. Okay. So, Gavin is 19 1. Hanuman Sumo would, I think, get us over the line now. 12,000 free from them. Not quite. Uh, okay, if we got this close, though, so you know, we got that. Cut the one, cut the nine, hope to get for Tanyo one. I'll reach Tanyo one, maybe. Frostray with Leela. As long as he only wins small hands, it's not the end of the world for him to start winning from there. 
least in terms of the overall game plan of taking the win. An extra 2,000 plus 900. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to matter. We're not going to get Hanuman with this, but I think Hanuman Superman might be enough with the bonuses currently in play. Uh, do we go for it? Against this many calls, I'm probably going to... This is probably going to be a regret coming up here, but let's, let's have a go. Eh, uh, you can say never in Mahjong at times. We're also going for a hand that isn't really on. But it, w it might be enough, potentially, so this is why we're looking to it. Well, that's a big help. In fact, that puts us each hand in. So there's a single nine so left. That would be the ideal draw right now. He's so gone. Sunman, eight pin, which is still good. And Done. let's so deal it. And fortunately, that puts us depressingly further from anything. And we only have one more shot left. Also, we lose 2,000 points that were in there, so now I think it is buy or bust. Yeah, not really able to do a lot with this. This, though, this is some potential, depending. Maybe. I'm gonna make 19 1 up for this. I'm gonna make 4 4 for a position anyway, so we'll worry about things as and when they become realistic, but. Boom. But we're on an awkward hand anyway. Lily's just gonna go for a quick hand to win the game. Absolutely makes sense. Probably means she's got a dragon. Probably not the green one, though. So let's just find out now. Okay, so she's probably got Red Dragon or West. She could be going for a quick Tanya, which it in truth as well, but. But right now we're in the position where we need to we need to hit Kandora. We need to rely on this green dragon weight. So let's see what we can do. Dragon six is also awkward in in context, but we're probably going to have to play a free pin anyway. Well, I guess we're on the go third plan. Downside is this, for good for to work, it does have to be the dragon.
Other than that, we just hope Legius wins. Legius winning a hand here isn't the worst for us. Really awkward thing is going to be if both me and Legis have a single green. I uh, can't call that and still have tempo, unfortunately. And that means I now need a green. Green is the only things that will do, and I need two of them. Unless I shenanigan. And if I shenanigan, I don't have a hand that's anywhere near enough to get to third. So I'd have to basically reach and bluff. And hope that, you know, nobody else goes for it. And also, Legis remains in Tempi as well. Given up the Epeko, that would have been a thing, but it wouldn't have been valuable enough. It was going to happen sooner or later. Oh boy. Rough, but we're in lot. We're in fourth anyway. No sense in not going for that. Alright, one more time. And I might need to dice for this one. We'll see who, if anybody else is joining. Okay, so currently it is Demo, myself, Prospero, and Legius. Good luck to all of you. Game start. All right, we're starting dealer again. I have got random seats set up, so this isn't just it. This, though, is more like that hand in the game that Rise didn't start up. Two starting Dora is extremely nice. No, I mean, I can't complain how this is going. Um... Q5, cut that, give us Tanyo, and then pretty much perfect. I'm wondering if the Martian Gods are deciding to throw me a bone at this point. I think he was just... I, I didn't notice it, but then I was mostly focusing on my own stuff for that entirety, entirety of that game, because, you know, not fourth place, no point in caring what other people are doing. Um, I think he had a good hand for it. I don't know if we actually did get it, but... We still, have, we still have a long way to go, and the hand is impossible, as we've mentioned many, many times. Um, well, we have to get rid of four eventually. So still two five man. Or of course three six. Hmm. 
Doesn't make that much difference at this point. We wouldn't take the Ipeko anyway because we'd be coming the door of five to do it, so. Well, they just give us Tanya. We are dealer. Chi. Yeah, let's just take Tenpai. So Tanya two open. No worries. Ah. Uh, oh. Hey, Casper. So, free is unlikely, but you know, people are attacking. Might happen. Just gotta be a little aware of what Legis is up to. No. No reach for you. Because that was our. Alright, reach Dora 1. I'll reach Tanya 1 anyway. Alright, so, dealer repeat. See if we can make up for the last few games. This is a four pair start, which is interesting. I don't know if we want to go for it, but it's interesting. Let's go two man for a starting tile at this point. Problem is, we got the one pin, which is fine. Green Dragon was always going to be awkward. Six, seven. It's not the ideal seven pairs hand, but equally, it's a bit far away from a lot of other things. So maybe. But Dealer Cheetoy. Wouldn't be the worst thing we can get here. Okay, we've set up the Suji for our six, so that's now a better tile. Question is, will we be able to even draw the pairs here? Assuming we don't, there's not a lot that's doing better for us in truth. Uh, dragon pair sequence. We need to rely on triplets anyway. Starting with a white. We could go for a white court for a one Han white attack, but... Mm, okay, that's significantly better. So, T-Toy 2. That would be... Ah, see, if I'm fully committing to T-Toy, this is the tile to keep, but we might still end up white dragoning here. I'm not going to call the first one. We might call the second. In fact, we will call it if it gets forced early enough, but... Uh, okay, I've dropped two pairs doing, doing shenanigans at this point. I think I'm taking too much time here, and that is going to backfire on me if I don't fix that soon. Well, there we go. Alright, white dragon, white dragon. Ugh. So we'll do some safety play here, and then we'll see where we are. We had too many pairs anyway for a conventional hand, so this kind of fixes that. So many pairs dropped. <laughs> Done. 
And that's acceptable. So we picked up a result and Demo has dealt into two hands. And as Demo is one of the stronger players here, him losing points is probably okay. He can recover. All right, this hand's a little bit messy. 25 to lead. So let's see what we can do here. Play West. So that's neatened up a little down there. All the even pins is, and just need a couple, you know, a couple of goes weights in this hand's fine. Or even just one and get rid of the other one. Good draw, red. So I hope to, of course, draw the seven so here because we want to keep the door where we can. Outside possibility that we can Sanch queue this. Slightly higher possibility that we can Sanch queue this, but I've been trying to Sanch queue things all night, so goodness knows. <laughs> Okay, no, well, we can just go double door. Double door is fine. Still a bit away from where we want to be, ideally, but we have a plan now. Pin two to your door two. Not impossible that we still Sanchiku this, but we're far less concerned with that. Uh, East is still alive. We'll hold on to that for a few turns, I think. Well, it wasn't live anyway. Let's just play it on turn one. Prospero on there. So now it's just a safe time we're going to keep anyway. Okay, white is live. We'll play that. Who wants it? Bonya. All right, didn't get a free turn, but that is fine. Advanced for dealer is less fine, admittingly, but you know. We've got safe tiles to him anyway. Okay. E Shantan. Still he shan't him. Uh, boom. Okay, South Gold. So six draws left, two calls, late game, middle fives discarded. Middle tiles discarded from both. Uh let's play two pen here. Yeah, this is awkward. I mean, we got two Dora, so it's not the worst thing for us to just go for this hand at this point, but... We also have safe tiles. We're gonna see how long this goes for it, because we've we nearly got Sananko as well. So Sananko Dora 2... ...is a hand we could go... ...Dama with as well. Live North is interesting. It is our win, though. You have to play around things.
Well, now I genuinely don't know what we're doing with this hand anymore. Gee. the best because that was getting a bit ridiculous this fucking one 3k that is acceptable because going to a semi silly hand in truth we're nearly at cheetah again actually and certain other hands sananko suanko considerations definitely a thing even with two draws left but um yeah It's fine. Where's the start? So we begin again with three pairs and a Dora. And one of each of the dragons. So we'll start playing those out. White was the last one available, so of course somebody has a pair of them. Hmm. Well, now we're up to four pairs here. Four pairs in Dora. If we can pair up the last... Pair up this, or pair up one of the more awkward tiles, then I guess we're going seven pairs. Cheetoy, Ishanten. So, one North has been played, so it's still acceptable as a seven pair weight. That, however, is a triplet. We're going to get rid of a 7 here. And see how this goes. Could have called that and gone for Toy Toy, but nah. Normally this would be acceptable, but we're going to pass it. Because it's early days here, we could e this could easily be the upgrade. 5 is still available, 4 is still available, 6 is still available, 1 8 has been played. This could still upgrade. Downside is, we have one call against us. Okay, North's now safe tile. One five played. I'll trade north for one. One. All right, both eights are out. So if we are going for the maximum, the eight has to be the pair. Ah, uh, oh. But I don't think the maximum is on. Okay, we're gonna get back to the C toy here rather than that because we've we, there's enough tiles out that we we are fairly certain the maximum is not on, so we are going to deviate and immediately get punished. Well, we didn't deal in, so there's that. Okay, so that just equalizes the positions underneath us. Not a major hassle, but we knew Demo was going to make up some points in this game. All right, two sequences. This is a fairly strong start. All right, possible, let's see. Okay, 
Okay, pair two sequences. We have basically pin two if we can draw the four. East should be relatively safe. One was played not long ago. The outside is six is the indicator, but... That we'll see. South? No. Hmm. Not going to go for this just yet. We'll wait and see if we can get Pinfu. Wait and see if we can get Anitsu. Wait and see what we can do with this, in truth. If we get the sumo, fine, but... I think it's worth a turn or two just to wait on this. Some would argue just reach now, but I think that given the upgrade of just reach Nomi versus reach Pinfu and things... Well... One thing we can do here is kind of pivot out of this, so let's go one pin. Because we can potentially play one pin, one pin, and still be on something with this free so. Well, it's so would have just won if we'd have kept going, but you know. Considering what is safe at all times. Sanzo should not be safe. And Legis is the more direct rival here. That's how I don't trust that five Ricci trap, unfortunately. And while I have hit Tenpai here, I think we're gonna go there. I do not have confidence that I could make um, the three of the five pass here. Then again, who am I to argue with uh, nonsense? Do I do a first hand reach against this? Reach. First hand reach is achieved. Reach. <laughs> okay. I have 2,000 points, Ledius. Just, just on us. Don't worry about it. There's a pay away as well. Say uh, free thought. Mm -hmm. I could have dodged. Uh, not a great hand. Okay, so you have a 6k advantage over third at the moment. What can we even do with this hand, really? Almost nothing, so we're gonna, gonna play silly buggers for at least a turn or two. It's not a cockshi attempt, we're nowhere near a cockshi attempt. I'm just playing silly buggers. Because why not? Best one we got is East Chanter at this stage, and we'd have to make so many calls to make it work. And you call every three and every seven.
Now you can argue why about now, but um, we're still not really doing it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine is not on the good side of managing it. Ten is kind of on the side of thinking about it. And we got it quite early. We got an early ten. So now we've got to think about this in terms of a cockatoo hand when I said it wasn't going to be one. Uh, so one man, nine man, green. Basically. So I didn't even discard this consuming cockatoo as well. But hey. One man, nine man, green. Greens haven't been played yet. Two one men have been played. No nine men have been played. There are ten tiles we want out of the or whatever's remaining. The 44 we will just, well, the 44 in the pool. That is not one of them. That is also not one of them, but we're going to keep that over this. Green's also Dora, so no chance of that coming out of anybody. Okay, six more draws left, of which I need three specific ones. That is not one of them. Yeah, two of them have to be correct, and I can take the last one off anybody. Uh, um. Alright, Legius on the attack. So far defying five less than five percent odds, but I think our time has come. There's the third one, man. Beach. That is the fourth. We are now out. Important thing to know in a cockshi when you are actually beaten. And see, we didn't have this deal in. It might not have helped us a great deal though, because I'm fairly certain 5 2. Yeah. Fairly certain we lost second anyway, but, um, you know, knowing when you're beaten is an important skill. Okay, uh, two sequences and Adora. Okay, so we have our pair. So we're just looking at Pintu here, really. Need something connecting to either the three or the seven, but yeah, that'll do. Connects to both. 
downside is it's going to be a closed weight rather than a pin foo weight, but we'll see. Mm, that might be better, but actually, no, I'm not going to take it. Yeah, so this is only going to be reach one at the moment, waiting on the seven, which is not great. Well, I see you waiting on the seven. Mm, pair weight on that is probably slightly better. Yeah, okay. One six pair weight is what we're aiming for then. Genius. We have, however, given Prosper two calls, and he's killed one of the potential winning tiles, so we got three remaining on this weight if we go there. Also, if we draw a seven for that six seven later, we are for a ten. Three pin is safe though. If we draw a six in here, yeah, yeah. Oh, dealing. All right, prospects picking up some cheap pans. Thousand points moves the game on. Leggy is just staying out of it for the most part, which is the prerogative of things when you are that far in the lead. Not that he won't try and snipe demo out of the game if he can, but. Right then. So here we are going to have to call that dragon if it comes up because it is an indicator. And in the meantime, just try and build. I think east as well would be nice. Uh, yeah, Legia's staying well out of trouble, getting rid of that red dragon immediately. But... but long way to go. I don't think Demo's done yet. Uh, five pin is a good draw. Could have got rid of one over there, actually, but... Mm, that's not us. That's somebody else with a trip out of them, which is unfortunate, because that's going to make this awkward later. There's a pause, you know somebody can call it, and the only reason you'd be able to call that free is either next in sequence or somebody's got a pair of them. Could have a triplet of them as well. Could have debated a card, I suppose, but either way, that makes it less likely that that's going to be a thing. Yeah. Absolutely. The advantage is, of course, that you you have the comeback under your control. If somebody else has lost the disadvantage of being the first dealer is you lose that ability to know you've got a dealer oh, yeah. turn left. You have to take more risks in South 2, 3, and 4 if you need to catch up. But, yeah, I much prefer being last dealer than uh, first dealer, I'm going to be honest. Okay, reasonable draw. So let's play East. We know it's the South round. We are Ishan 10. There is one green that will ever become available. And we have some carnage. That is a good draw. That's a good return of events for us, actually. This is the 2 2. Unfortunately, Prospero just wins, which is really annoying. But that's what you want to do. You want to get these quick jabs in and get the dealer turn back to you as soon as possible. Win with Amanga now, and he takes the lead. I have two Dora in this hand, and that is not... It's not a bad one. But we're not taking it. This is... Tanyo, unfortunately. Unless we go a pair of South or something. Yeah, I feel this is just Tanyo. Tampin, yeah, sure, but... Let's, let's see what happens.
So from our perspective, we're only three one behind Prospero. Now we need to do some shenanigans to catch up with Legius. So not necessarily our game plan, but you know, got to be a consideration. Hanuman Sumo gets us there at the moment. Not easily a hand that's going to be Hanuman Sumo this one, but not impossible. Not going to take that. Not going to take the card, certainly. All right, so we are getting Tanya. And the hope is, I guess, to draw more two pins, five pin. Well, it's two. Uh, this is not a possible two hand, really. There's, there, I need too many tiles to make it a thing at this stage. Also, it, it's mostly time management here, and the quick Tanyo to gain some points and take second place is a priority over the big hand to... Only be, it only be worth too hard, really, at this stage, anyway. It would only be a consideration if I started drawing more tiles into it, and even then, I draw a 7, I consider that area complete. I draw a 5, I consider that area complete, I get rid of the 8. It's, um... Yeah. It's not really an itsy hand, as much as I hate saying that, because I like my possible itsies. Oh, that's annoying. We'll still do it, but... Oh, someone could overcall me. There we go. We are taking this because we're at the point where we don't want Prosper to have repeats. And also, if we're going to get a Mungan while Legis is dealer, that actually counters that a little bit. Um, yeah, if we're going to have a bad weight, we'll wait on the four, four pin here. Beating you. Wrong four, but... We appreciate the effort, sir. Beach. Hmm. This is tricky. I think you play five. So, Yakulus Tempai, then. Alright, that's successful. And vindicated. Definitely was not a good idea to get rid of Adora there. <laughs> Don't be afraid to fold if your hand's not that good. I think that's... Rule one. Anyway, um, so without doing anything, we're now in the same situation of we're only looking up now. So now a Mangan Sumo is enough. So that's where we're kind of looking. If we can get a Mangan Simo now, we will go for it. Or we'll spend a bit more effort doing it. So the easiest way is going to be, I think, 6, 7, 8, Sanchku, Pinfu, and Hope, I think, more than anything else. Well, getting a hand that can win is important for right now. So even just if we get to reach Pinfu, Sumo, Free Han, we still take more points from Legius, gives us a shot in the final hand. Even if we're not crafting the absolute monster that is the reach Pinfu Sanchku. But... Uh... Taking it open also doesn't help us a lot. That just gives us basically open Sanchku or open Tanya Sanchku at best, which is only two Han. Free Winadora, admittingly. 
And it's more obviously what I'm going on, so harder for Ledges to deal in, which is the second consideration. If Ledges deals in, we we don't need as big a hand. But eyes forward at the moment. Good draw. Uh, right. So, given what we know of Prospero's hand, we're going to cut the 8 followed by the 7. And we're waiting on the 5 8. I know 1 8 has just been played, but. I think this is still fine. 1's going to be a safe final discard. Two eights played, so it looks as if. I mean, it was always more likely we were going to be on the two five eight. Um, draw the two five eight for it anyway, but but that just amplifies it. East is an okay final discard as well. Two of them played. Uh, can't call that as much as I'd like the extra Dora. Shouldn't have really swapped into this, but it doesn't make a massive amount of difference here. I think it's five ways would have been safe, but hmm. Yeah, and again, it doesn't really change anything here. We still have to play the six. Do I just take ten five? No, we hold off. I'm gonna trust that the weight's good enough. We still have three more draws. And there's a Khan on the board. This now makes our reach extremely powerful if we get it, but if Legius is about to counter reach us. I suppose Legius actually can't that. Well, we're gonna have one go, I think. Or well, we're just gonna have to hope for Tempai. Also, all our rates are disappearing. Alright, one go. Beach. Let's see. Uh, boom. One sumo. No. Haite from Legius, interestingly. But Tim. Legius folds out. Yep. Okay. So, not the best, but we gained 3,000 on it. Now, though, we just need a Hanneman for victory. I mean, how difficult can a Hanneman be? Seven pairs with two Dora. That's all we need. Or we go Chinitsu. Easy. How could we possibly fail? Dora 2. We can now call both 9-pin and 5-pin if we're seriously thinking about the Chinitsu side of things. We might not need Chinitsu actually with 2 Dora, but let's, um, let's see. We can go Itsu, Pinfu, Dora 2. And Reach, that would be enough. But we would need the Itsu.
Sheetoidor 2 would also be fine as long as we sumoed. In fact, actually, we're, we're below 12,000. We can win from anybody. Even direct hits are fine. That's annoying. But we might get a 7 out of somebody now. Do I tr do I go for it? Uh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Chi. Five being safe is fun for us, though. Yeah, so plan is now entirely Shinitsu. Shinitsu with one red Dora is enough. Chi. Unfortunately, the rest of the hand is kind of rubbish. But we have a possible Itsu as well here, so it's... Alright, Prospero wants in. That was more of a hope for Urebra than anything there. Uh, I get there were points on the table, but... But yeah, that was calculated to not finish, to not improve position. Yeah, well. So I've gone 3 4 2. Not a great result for me tonight, but hey. I'm, I'm out of practice in any case. Alright, um, there's not going to be a stream next week um, for reasons. And then after that, we've got the 10th of December, the 17th of December, which is the finals. So I will actually bother updating the score sheet at some point soon and get back to you. So thanks for joining us, those who did, and I will see you in a couple of weeks. Until then.